Hey, if you're thinking about starting a live stream or simply want to upgrade the equipment that you have currently, I've got one device that's got a camera, microphone, and selfie ring light that you need to get started. Stick around and check it out. Just like I say guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about one device that includes everything that you need to get started live streaming or even upgrade your current equipment. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Morantz Pro Turret. This device has everything that you need for plug and play, instant start, right out of the box, ready to go live streaming or content creation. The turret has everything that you could possibly need to get started. The turret's camera is, an auto, is a 1080p autofocus camera that's got uh, H.264 encoding compression built right into the, into the device itself, which is nice because then your computer doesn't have to actually do the encoding itself on, on that end. It helps you save resources and make things more efficient. Um, it's built on the specs of, the, of some of the most popular streaming cameras, like the C920. Um, so if you're used to that camera, you're going to notice that you have really, really high quality. It's a really fantastic camera. Um, horizontally, this thing can pivot uh, up to 300 degrees left or right, uh, which is fantastic. So you have a lot of range of motion and that gives you a lot of freedom of where you can place the turret in your streaming space. Um, the other thing that's awesome about it is that it can pan up and down. So you can actually move the turret's camera um, vertically uh, 15 degrees up or down. So you could get those shots where you're, you know, you've got kind of a downward angle if you're looking for that kind of thing, um, or an upward angle as well if you if, you, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for as well. So um, it gives you a lot of freedom, even though it's mounted into the device itself. It gives you a lot of freedom of motion that allows you to be more creative and do things that you're looking to do and get the shot that you're really looking for. The other great part about the camera is that on the turret itself, there is a button that allows you to turn the camera on and off with just a push of a button. Above and below the camera, there are blue LEDs that indicate if the camera is live or if it's not. So it's really nice because it gives you kind of a heads up on whether you forgot to turn your camera on, which a lot of people do. I've done that many, many times on live streams. Um, you forget to turn your camera on and your chat starts screaming at you to turn it on. Uh, but this gives you a, a very visual LED indicator showing you that the camera is on or off. Um, it also can help you with privacy. You know, sometimes when things happen in the room and you want to turn the mic and the camera off really quickly, um, this can just help you ensure that you've got the privacy that you're looking for. So uh, it's a really neat feature that they built right into the Marantz turret. The the other really cool thing about the turret, like I said, is that it has a built-in selfie ring light. So if you don't know what a ring light is, or if you haven't used a ring light in the past, um, they're becoming wildly popular right now. Everybody's using them for from live streaming to video recording. Um, it's just a really unique way to get the right type of light uh, right on the subject. So in this scenario, in this scenario, um, you know, when you're doing a live stream, you are the main focus of the content. And what you want to do is you want to get the best lighting on you um, to give people the, you know, the best picture that they could possibly get. And what's awesome is, is just like I'm using now, I'm using a ring light currently, um, and I'll link to that in the bottom description below the one that I'm using. But the ring light, it, it just kind of illuminates your face. And what's awesome is that the, the turret has that built in um, right around the outside of the camera. So it's perfect. It's pre-built in um, and you have an awesome function of you've got a, you've got a nice dial um, to turn the brightness up or turn it down, which allows you to um, get the best lighting for your specific scenario. Um, because one of the biggest things you want to do is you want to balance the lighting that's in the room or in the space that you're streaming from with the light from the selfie ring light. So too bright, things get washed out. Too dark, things don't look that great and you don't really pop. Um, so that's why you have the adjustment there, which is great. What's great is that in the packaging, you also get two additional colors, that, uh, filters that you can put over the top of the selfie ring light. You get an orangey kind of a yellowish color, which can help you bring out that warmer scent. So if you're in a room that's got really harsh, bright white light, um, this can help you kind of tone that down a little bit and give you some better color there. The other option that they give you is this, this bluer color. The one that comes pre-installed is a bright, bright white. So it's very clear, very clean, very, very bright white color. Um, the blue can help you kind of offset um, other, you know, like warmer colors. So if you've got a lot of warm light, you can go with a blue, which will help kind of tone that down a little bit. If you've got a lot of bright light, you can turn, you can take the uh, the yellow or the, or the browner color and kind of tone that down and make it more warm feeling. So um, they give you a lot of options. The white comes pre-installed and then you get the blue and the brown in the packaging as well, which is awesome. So it gives you a lot of versatility and they just simply clip in 
um, and clip out. It's very, very quick and easy to make the change. Um, and it, it allows you the freedom to create the best video you can get for the space that you're operating in. So very cool. The third part that the Marantz turret comes with is the microphone. Okay, so that is perhaps the second most important thing, right? Camera is, is one of the biggest ones, right? You want a really clear camera video uh, picture. Um, but the next big thing is your audio. Audio quality while streaming or creating content is huge. The microphone itself is 16-bit resolution, which is up there with a lot of other really high-end microphones. Um, it swivels up and down, um, and it's on an articulating arm, so it allows you, like I said, to move it wherever you need it, make the angle, turn the angle so that it's always facing the right space, um, and you can angle it up or down, so if you've got it you know, kind of below you and you want to get that, that rich sound right into the microphone, um, you just have a lot of freedom of where you can place it so you can make sure that you get the best possible sound that you can get. This thing has, every, has everything that you need to stream as well as more. Um, some of the other features that it has are um, it's got volume controls, it's got mic monitoring built in, so you can actually hear yourself in your headphones, um, and then you can, you can adjust the balance between the computer sounds and the mic sounds, which allows you to just kind of make sure you can hear what you're saying, what's going on in the room around you, um, as well as you can clearly hear what's going on in the video game, or the, you know, whatever else is, is, is coming off of your, or your music, whatever else is on your computer. Um, it allows you to kind of cater the balance that you hear yourself as the content creator, which is really important. Um, I've used mic monitoring headsets for a very long time from Turtle Beach, and while they're awesome, um, the sound quality that you get from the microphone isn't the best. There isn't a lot of other solutions unless you go into a really high-end audio system that allows you to do mic monitoring. So the fact that that's built into the turret is absolutely fantastic. It's definitely a next level type of feature that's going to allow you to get the best audio quality, but for you to also be able to monitor your audio quality, which is absolutely fantastic. On the back of the turret, you've got a power plug, USB-C, which is used to connect it to your, to your computer, um, and then you've got two additional expandable USB ports. This thing is awesome because when it's on your desk, if you've got limited space, this not only extends your USB capabilities with those two additional ports, but the, the, the ability for all of the devices, the microphone and the camera, to work on one USB-C cable connection on Mac or PC is absolutely fantastic. Cuts down on a lot of those extra cables you've got running around, and it just makes everything a little bit more um, compact on a, let's say, on a laptop setup or something. Um, it would only take up one USB slot as opposed to multiple, which is nice. The two buttons on the front for camera and microphone are awesome because they allow you to turn those two features off at the push of a button. So if you need to cough really quickly, you can mute the microphone and unmute it with just a push of a button. Um, if you need to test step away for a moment, um, you can push the mic button and the camera button, turn both of those off, and step away. Super fantastic. The nice thing is, is when you turn both of those off, the indicator LEDs on both the microphone and the camera also turn off. Um, well, kind of. The microphone actually doesn't turn off. It flashes red saying that your voice is not being heard. It's basically, it's a really, really nice indicator right in front of your face saying, hey, you've muted your microphone, nobody can hear you. Um, there's been so many times when I've come back from a quick break, um, started streaming again, and I'm just talking and nobody can hear me because I didn't unmute my mic. So having that indicator flashing red saying, hey, you are not being heard is really, really great. You reach over, you push one button, mic's working again. It's fantastic. I'm a huge fan of the turret. It's got an awesome mic, fantastic camera, selfie ring light built in, uh, as well as just you know mic monitoring, H.264 encoding on the video. It's it's kind of the one stop shop. It's really it's really a game changer in my opinion as far as the live streaming and content creation space. So if it's something that you're interested in checking out, I've linked it down in the description below as well as some of the other equipment that I use to make this video and other videos. Um, and if you have any questions about the, the turret, please feel free to ask. I, I would love to, to investigate this thing and give you more information and answer any questions that you might have about this device. Um, and if it's something that you wanted to see more about, let me know as well. I could create some tutorial videos or anything else that you guys might want to see. Um, but please, feel free to ask. Hey, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, I got more awesome videos that are going to pop up right over here. And I got more reviews coming up in the future. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those. I'll see you next time.